What's up guys, Compulsive Gamer here again. I was fixing to go ahead and put together a video for my recent mail call before July uh, 4th and I decided to go ahead and just do another collection update for you. I pulled out the ones that I believe were the ones that uh, I didn't show on my previous collection updates and pickups, but I'm not 100% sure, so if they are duplicates that I've shown before, forgive me, but I believe these are the ones I didn't show. So, this is my wall of PS3, it's growing pretty big. Had to already start going down there, now eventually I'm going to need a different shelf. <laughs> I've already uh, been on Amazon and fixed an order, uh, another one of these uh, shelves. These are the Atlantic Elite media shelves, if anyone's interested. They hold a good bit of games. I think it's like 600 games or something like that. So I'll just put another one probably on that wall right there or that one over there. But anyways, so here are some of the newer ones I got. This is Artanelico, Oga, Knell of Arxeal, I believe that's how you say it. I probably butchered that, but just added this one. Never played it before. Uh, I know it's a JRPG. I'm a pretty big fan of JRPGs, so I'll have to dive into that one and see how it is. But just trying to get as many of these heavies as I can before they start going up in value. So a lot of them, even though I probably won't play them, I want them for the collection. Oh. All right, next one is one I will play, another fighter. Uh, Aqua Plaza. This one I had a hard time trying to get for a good price. Um, every listing I had seen for it was like $60, $70. So I had to be real patient with this one. And I finally came across one for $35. And I pulled the trigger on it. All complete in box as always. Uh, same with uh, Cross Edge or Cross X Edge. Um, I was in the market for this one. A lot of the listings were again like $35, $45. Had to wait, came across it for 20 scooped it up. Again, always keep an eye out on those eBay listings. You never know what you're going to find for a good price. Next one was, yeah, Eternal Sonata. I absolutely adore this game. When I first bought this to test out, like I do all my eBay stuff, I thought I'd just do a quick 5-10 minute test of it and then put it back in the case. I stayed on this game for almost 2 hours. I just something about it. If you ever played a game uh, called Nino Kuni or anything like that, that's what this reminds me of. It's very lighthearted. Like this is the kind of game that you would play if you're having a bad day and you just want something that's a little more tame. You know what I mean? Just something you can kick back, enjoy the story that has really pretty graphics and atmosphere and characters. Just an overall great JRPG. So if you're looking for something new to play and you haven't played uh, Eternal Sonata, I definitely recommend you give it a try. Uh, next up is Overkill, House of the Dead Overkill Extended Cut. As I mentioned in my previous pickup video, I'm thinking about getting into the PlayStation Move uh, and picking up some of the light gun shooters on rail shooters like this one. And uh, I came across this one for 25 bucks and scooped it up. I loved uh, House of the Dead 2 and 3, so eager to dive into that one. Uh, I'm going to probably order one of the uh, PlayStation Move kits, bundles, and... Uh, Maybe do an unboxing video of that and set it all up and maybe try out a couple of the uh, rail shooters. So maybe I'll post a video of that when that happens. <clears throat> Excuse me. Uh, King of Fighters 13. Again, this was another one. Every listing I found, $60, $65. Got this for $34. As soon as it came up, he actually had it listed for, for $45. And I messaged him and said, hey man, would you do $30 for it? Or sorry, 34 for it. And uh, he said, yeah. And he took it. So another uh, heavy hitter in the collection for a good price. Down here, we got Naughty Bear Double Trouble. Now, this is an interesting one. There's like three versions of this game. There's Naughty Bear, Trouble, and Paradise, I believe, right? Let me see this. Yeah, it's Panic in Paradise. Yeah, Naughty Bear, Trouble, and Paradise is the first game. Then there's Naughty Bear Gold Edition. Uh, which has the uh, DLC and everything on it. Then there's Naughty Bear Double Trouble, which has another DLC on it called Panic in Paradise. For some reason, this one is like super expensive compared to the other ones. It's like $20, $30 more than the other two. And I don't know why other than it just being a cover art variant and it having the DLC code, which isn't even active anyway. So I'm not sure why this one's more than the Gold Edition. I guess people want it to say Double Trouble on it, but... I got this one for, I believe, $40, and it usually sells for around $60, so I don't know. <laughs> but it's one of those games, I guess. Next one was Persona 4 Ultimax. Again, another fighter. Love Persona. As you can hear, it's already playing on there. Persona 5, one of my favorite games of all time. 
But, uh, never played the fighting game before, and this one used to be super expensive. This used to be like a $120, $130 game, so... I know it dropped drastically because of the re-release on PlayStation Network. And I get I got this for, I think, $12, so... Not gonna complain, it's the only way to get it physical, so... Happy to have that. Next up, Puppeteer. This is always on everybody's list. Haven't had a chance to play it. I've watched some gameplay of it, though. Looks very cool. Got this one for $40, I believe. And that's right around market. Mark's usually around like $40, $55. So I got it on the lower end. Another HD game for the collection, Silent Hill HD. I'm trying to get all the HD compilations. I know Silent Hill HD collection gets a bad rap because of the issues it had. But at least the PS3 version got the patches that ha address some of the visual glitches and audio. So the PS3 version is the more sought after version over the 360 version for that reason. <coughs> Probably not going to play it because I prefer the originals. But I'm trying to get all the HD collections. So needed it for the set. Alright, getting down to the last few. We got Stranglehold Collector's Edition. This one I remember playing back on 360, and uh, this is pretty fun. It reminds me of Wet. It's like one of those slow-mo bullet time kind of games where you just start shooting everything that moves and time slows down. You do all these crazy uh, jump mechanics and stuff like that. And this one actually comes with Hard Boiled on it, the full-length movie, so that's pretty cool. Reminds me of the uh, Watchmen one that I picked up where it comes with a movie on it. Love when they add movies onto games. I just think that really adds to the value of the games. Next up, another one I don't know too much about, Tears to Terria 2. Um, this one's getting really expensive, so if you can get this one cheap, I definitely recommend trying to hunt for it now. I only paid $40 for it, but usually it goes for around $60 to $70, so keep an eye out for this one. Another one that's getting up there, Time and Eternity. I dabbled in this for a little bit. This is such a unique game. <coughs> it's all It plays literally like an actual anime the way that the gameplay and cutscenes are it's hard to explain but it's it's very cool if you haven't had a chance to play this one or look into it watch some gameplay of it very interesting game this one come came with the uh soundtrack as well and i picked this one up for 40 and usually goes for around 50 60 bucks so again always nice to get them under market again another jrpg i haven't played trinity universe same story Saw it after, as all JRPGs are. They're getting expensive. So, highly recommend you, if you're in the market for any of the JRPGs, now is the time to pick them up before they start getting super expensive. Uh, I believe I got this one for $37. Yeah. So, another JRPG for the lot. And last but not least. <laughs> oh man, what to say about this game. Vampire and Altered Species. I actually loved this game on 360. This game got terrible reviews, and I know that people hate this game because the gameplay is kind of like... It's like a mix between, like, Splinter Cell... <coughs> um, it's like a Splinter Cell-style game with vampires in it, but you can't really fight the vampires because they're so overpowered they kill you in, like, two hits. So you're basically just trying to avoid the vampires at all costs. I know the PS3 version had a few updates to it over the 360 version, and I've been keeping an eye out for this because it seems to be getting up there in value. And if you can, try to find one that has the poster like this one has, if you can find it. Let me try to see if it's in. Yeah, see, find the one that has the poster in it because that one uh, really adds to its value. I got this one for, I believe, 35 or no, $25 from my guy on eBay. So this one's getting up there if you can find it with the poster. Again, it's not a great game. It's one of those you love it or hate it kind of games. Uh, I have a guilty pleasure with this game just because for some reason the the style and what it was going for just drew me in. I don't know why, but I don't know. <laughs> it's just a very, uh, very interesting game to me. That's why I like it so much. I'll probably wind up playing this today, to be honest with you. But yeah, guys, so that's everything new, I believe, in my collection that I haven't showed off. Um, on my first pickup video, I believe I had a little over 60 games, and according to my CLZ gaming app, I have a little over 100 and 140, I believe. I'd have to double check, but yeah, it's, it's well over 100 now, and it's still growing, so. I'm going to wind up having to, like I said, get another shelf, because I'm running out of space down here. I'm having to move some of my PS2, PS1 stuff out of the way along with my uh, collector's editions and my animes. I might have to just go ahead and take all those out <coughs> and put those on a separate shelf so I can keep building the PS3 collection because I got like 
20, 20 plus more games coming in, so. But yes, that's everything new that I picked up, and I'm also on my PS3. I don't know if I've ever showed this off before. Uh, I just got a Samsung 870 Evo SSD, one terabyte. I just installed that a few days ago on my Azureite Blue PS3, and uh, God, it really needed that space, because I was running out of space because the game installs and um, all the downloads. I download a lot of PS1 classics on here, so it was taking up a lot of space. But yeah, guys, that's everything I have to show for now. Stay tuned. I'm going to do some other videos that are a little different than just collection video and mail call videos. I'm going to probably do, like I said, a PlayStation Move series with some of the light gun games. Some uh, I got some accessories coming in for the PS3 that I want to show. So definitely a lot more that I want to do other than just the mail call and collection videos, which I'll still post updates on. But I'm going to keep the content varied a little bit just so it's not the same thing uh, every upload. But anyways, guys, that's everything. Thank you so much for watching. Until the next one, later.